Hello, hello. And welcome to the continuation of the Me Brawler June Jamboree events. Uh, last week we did a crew battle between users of Soaring Axe Kick and Thrust Uppercut, and this week we're doing the same thing with users of Thrust Uppercut and Heli Kick. Still doing a little bit of setup stuff. I'll wait for people to uh, come in with my friends over here in the stands. Don't mind them. myself am participating on the Helikick team. Not for a lack of players on the Helikick team, but because I saw the light and I realized that I was a fool using Soaring Axe Kick before this date, and I have decided to commit myself fully to Helikick. It's the ultimate up special. I should have been using it all along, obviously. That's why I'm now on Team Helikick. I, I use an Elgato capture card, so there's like a little over a second delay. Which doesn't seem like it would be intrusive. You just set the mic to be, you know, a second delayed, but it actually gets in the way of a lot of things. Primarily if I were to have someone else on stream with me, it, uh, it becomes a headache with uh, console recording. Hello, Terraria man. I am assuming that this Katakana fella is uh, Xenon. Our first two fighters are Dale and Xenon. Dale being a brawler that I play friendlies with a lot. Former ESK Stan. He's been in crew battles before. And the two of them are currently making stages. This is an 8v8 crew battle, once again. Uh, we had an 8v8 planned last week, but we had some people fail to show up, so it got brought down to a 7v7 partway. Hopefully that doesn't happen here, because we had a lot of people on the, th on the thrust uppercut side. And everyone on the helikick side seems to be present, so... I don't think we'll have any issues today. You know what? I forgot. I forgot to get my tea. I will be right back. Dale. Hello. for Xenon. I wish I wish I could pet Yashi. I can't though. My hand is behind him. It's stuck behind him. Oh, 
All right, there is Xenon. Esquire giving advice in the Team Helikick chat. Sounds like uh, Dale versus Xenon on Pokemon Stadium. Dale fighting for Team Thrust Uppercut and Xenon on Helikick. Xenon also using base uh, Me Brawler, default Brawler. Oh! Xenon with an F smash that goes unpunished. Dale with an F smash that goes unpunished. Mmm, burning drop kick takes the first stock. Is something that uh, was noted on the Helikick time on the Helikick side. We have a lot of Helikick users using Burning Dropkick as their side special. Dale takes a stock with back air. Fairly even so far. Rapid jab, no punish. Again, spot dodges the suplex. Xenon mostly avoiding those. Helikick does not connect. Hmm, shot put sends Dale off twice! And into the up smash. Dale goes for a thrupper. Doesn't quite land it. Boy, if he could just hit Xenon with something. There he goes, the F smash. One to one, zero to 40%. Very even first match. Dale goes for another F smash, gets a near to the face, into a rapid jab. Mm, the parry into the helikick doesn't send him quite far enough. That was a very well placed shot put. Dale avoided it by grabbing the ledge. Thrust uppercut, not quite enough. Everyone just throwing out those smashes. Big Lord, very frustrated. Ooh, the back air. Dale wins the match. I shouldn't be celebrating that. I'm on Team Heli, but Dale's my boy, so that's okay. I was cool however that worked out. That is three off of the Helikick team and two off of Thrupper. And I am in fact our next Helikick participant. So let me just update the score and then I will hop in.
that's two off of Thrupper. There we go. All right, me and Dale. I forget how this works every single time. All right, Dale is going to ban stages, and then I will pick a stage. Dale is banning Lilith and Kalos by reason of they suck. And I believe he gets one more ban. Don't mind Kalos for uh, for Helikick Brawler. Not a fan for for Soaring Axe Kick. We got E3 going on. Oh, that's right, it's going on right now. However, I have basically no interest in any of the conferences besides Nintendo's. I. I thought about watching the Capcom one. I'm not sure if I will or not because I'm only really looking for one thing. Oh, he banned FD. I was just, I was gonna pick FD. I like FD. Regardless of my character, I like FD. But it was banned, so we'll go to Town and City instead. Uh, I was hoping there would be a Mega Man Battle Network collection dropped at the Capcom presentation. There have been hints that there might that might be coming down the pipeline. Alright, me versus Dale. And Dale needs to take his stocks. So, I will allow him to do so. Hey. Yeah, I snuck in K Rule into the into the the me battle. Isn't that cool? I call this one D Rule. Mm. No, he interrupts my suplex. No, get out of here. Get out of here. I can wait, I'm patient. You come to me. Not enough. I'm alive. I'm fine. It's a little scary. There we go. Get out of here. I got D-Rule and I got Joshi, but I'm not using Joshi because he's, he's FMP and I, I, I like to use Shot Put with uh, Helikick. GG, Dale. All right, so I think I ban three now. Who's next? Sounds like Free GC, another brawler who I fight friendlies with regularly is going to be fighting on the Thrupper side. I have banned Yoshi's, which is very good for Thrupper, Battlefield, which is very good for Thrupper, and Lilith, which I just don't like. Elf King says, I hope I don't see a single Lilith match this crew battle. 
Uh, sounds like we're going to PS2. Insert the complaint I have every single time I do one of these about finding stages. Alright, get in here, free. Come on, you're keeping everyone waiting. Look at all the people you're keeping waiting. What are you doing, free? Hello, Lonk. What is wrong with Lilith? Uh, the slopes are annoying, the low platforms annoying, the, uh, the number of platforms are annoying, and the ledges are still kind of annoying. They weren't fully fixed, they were improved. It is still very jank. I, I don't think that's an unpopular opinion that Lila feels jank. Now you're allowed to like it. That's fine. I just don't. It is opinion, yeah. Be people not liking Lila is an opinion. Oh, I forgot to update the score. We are 21 to 21. Uh, ignore that. Pretend it's 21 to 21. I will update it. Uh, I didn't lose any stocks. We can go. Free? Hello? Dude? I have all three stocks. I think Free forgot how the previous match went. Well, you know what? I guess that's fine. We'll, we'll do a do-over. And uh, that'll give me time to update the score. Free, please. Why you do the things, Free? I could have taken that. I could have been a dick and been like, no, no, that was fair. I, I got that kill. But I won't do that. Ready? All right, for real this time. Free GC, Thrupper versus me, Zelrog, Helikick. Free is a very defensive brawler, I know from playing him on the regular. Usually he and I go fairly even in the brawler ditto. Uh oh. Eh. Eat it up. He doesn't like the Bowser matchup, but otherwise we're pretty even. Also feeling a little, uh... Frames feel a little chunky tonight. Which is not usually the case for me. I wonder if my internet's being funny today. Mmm, I didn't catch him. I really wanted to catch him. I'm gonna eat that grab into Thrupper. Air dodge is my, uh, faint jump kick. Give me another Thrupper. Come on, give me a heli. I just need a heli now. A heli- Oh, he kicks through the shot put! I don't like when that happens. It just nullifies the shot put like it didn't- like it never happened. That was dumb of me. Okay. We're fine. My Nair wins. You don't fight, uh, you don't fight D-Rule Nair. I just went right into that. Optimistic smash, that's okay. I'll, t I'll take another one. No one expects the second uh, debt D smash. Free rocking uh, Dan Hibiki, as usual. Ah! 
I don't think uh, Deadly Neurotoxin has participated in a crew battle recently. He's like the main Dan guy on Brawler Cord. A lot of Dan fans in Brawler Cord. Mmm, I ate that Thrupper, that's alright. I ate a second one, that's not alright! I, I gotta play like Ganon. I gotta use my iframes and then hope that he'll just, like, uh, walk into it. There we go. Oh, not quite. He's gonna get back from that. I'm getting sloppy. I'm getting real sloppy. I'm starting to play like Ganon, which is bad for this. Free, on the other hand, is being very precise. Using moves when he knows they're going to connect. Yeah, he's being campy. I, that's okay, I expect that from him. Ain't nothing wrong with that. He's using a shot put on the ground, who cares. I'm not gonna land any of these. Oh, we just waited for it. There I go. So that is three off the helis and one off the thrupper. Free just got steadily better over the course of the match, and I just got steadily worse. I was getting real dumb there. I acknowledge that. Next up is Free versus 5-5 five five Mini Ben. is a European brawler. However, he is not responding in chat, so we might just have to skip to the next one. Oh no, he's here. some other members we have Dean Helly. We have Esquire, the Brawler Court owner. We have Chazo, Chazo, who people are talking about in chat. We have Gagel, Gagel, of YouTube fame. And BMZ is our sub, but everyone is here, so BMZ probably will not be playing today. And then we had like 11 or 12 people sign up on the thrust uppercut side. Which is opposite last week. Last week we had a 
life. We we had uh, we struggled to find people who were here and able to play for Thrupper, while Soaring Axe Kick had 11 people sign up. Most of whom were present. So I wonder how lopsided the final week is going to be. Soaring Axe Kick is going to have like 20 people sign up, while Helikick has like four. Sorry for the delay, still waiting for 55 mini Ben to sort things out in the picks and bands. And before Big Lord signs up for Helikick just to make it fair, uh, we had a few people hop on Helikick just because I think they knew that the numbers were going to be pretty low. Favorite Pokemon and why? Uh. I have a few favorites. Most of them are from Gen 3. I think Gen 3 had a lot of a lot of good a lot of very solid Pokemon designs. I'd probably say Absol. He's cool. Also a fan of Tyranitar and Agron, Gardevoir. Relicanth is fine. Wait, Relicanth. Yeah, that's the fish. The coelacanth. Yeah, it, 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 it's cool. Tyranitar is Gen 2, yes. He is the only one of my favorite favorites who is not from Gen 3. Metagross, pretty cool. Chandelure is a piece of furniture. He's fine, I guess. I don't think he's that great. I'm not big on Gen 5. Gen 5 kind of sucked. Spicy hot takes. I'm gonna make a lot of people mad with that one. What's the pass? Everything is pinned in the... Diego, are you a part of the crew battle, or are you just wandering in? We're doing a crew battle between the Me Brawler Chord Rust Uppercut users and Helikick users. So all of that is official event, all of that is going on in the Me Brawler official Discord. Alright, our next match is... Who is it? 55 Miniban versus Free GC. Free being on Team Thrupper. 55 on Helikick. Free will have to remove one of his stocks. A true Dan always fights with a handicap. Uh, go reset. Free. Uh, it seems like they were intending to go to Kalos. We might need another do-over. Meanwhile, who is 55 mini Ben's me? I thought it was like a I thought it was like a gas mask, but I can't tell if it's It might just be a very I think it's just a very very dark dude. He kind of looks like if Mr. T was like a Muppet. He looks like Mr. T with uh, an afro and the Burt eyebrows. Alright, so, 
Mini Ben will select Kalos. Kind of, I get the feeling he's kind of coming and going. It is an old me. I made it a long time ago. Where is Kalos? Oh, he's having the same issue I do. Oh, just let us sort the stages. Let us sort them by series. It would be so much better. Characters, too. Hey, Zell. Hey, Crispo. The thought of modding. Uh, as in modding the game? Modding a Discord channel? Modding a Twitch channel. I assume you mean modding the game, because I know Crispo mods the... He, he has, he's been messing around with uh, Smash mods. Uh, no, I, ha I haven't really... I haven't looked into it. What if I made a versus Zelrog Friday Night Funkin' mod? Just ba based on my voice clips, like... Uh... I'm down for that. Free GC using thrust uppercut versus 55 mini Ben using heli kick. Four reels this time. Free takes out his one stock. And the two are at it. Again, 55 is in Europe. So there's probably some amount of delay here. Mm, I see some chunk. There be chunks. Helikick facing left. Lots of tilts. D throw thrupper does not connect. Ooh. Blast zone thrupper does connect. 55 loses a stock. Shot put to the face. Faint jump kick to the face. I don't envy free right now playing with uh, delay and lag spikes. Yeah. This is especially harmful to a very precise, uh, very precise combo-oriented player. Brawler, in general, a character brawler is considered to be pretty heavily nerfed online. Because he is overall a, you know, a rushdown combo character. I don't need to be telling this. Most of you guys are in Brawler Court. Maybe there's people on YouTube who aren't in Brawler Court watching this. Hello, YouTube! Come join Brawler Court. It's fun in here. Ooh, end of Helikick. Did that kill up? That didn't even send out. Wow, he must have been way up there. I wasn't looking at freeze percent. Helikick never kills off the top.
Helikick can be angled either out or upward, depending on how you're moving the stick when the final hit comes out. Even so, it's basically never worth going the upwards hit because it kills at such a ludicrously high, per high percent. Free takes another stock. It is now one to one. Free, getting used to the getting used to the delay. He's getting a combo off. Fifty-five standing, throwing shot puts. Hoping Free walks into them. He walked into a few. Neck and neck. Free lands the button air. It's just it's just trading little hits into a suplex off stage free fall. Oh, that's a sad way to end. That's uh that's another three off the hellies. And one off of Dan, the man, Hibiki. Hibiki. Alright, Ryoga Hibiki. Of Ron the one half. Maybe they're related. And our next Helikick fighter is Esquire. Hello, Dark Green Me. We started at, this is an 8v8 crew battle, so we started at 24 stocks. So we're down a little bit. Helikick has eaten a lot of dirt. But that's okay. We, we got, we got our, our big boys at the end. Maybe they can bring it back for us. It's a losing fight, but it's not a lost fight yet. Alright, Esquire joins the arena. Rock and the Bomberman. I used to have the Bomberman icon, but it felt redundant once he was added as a costume. Like, I, it, the, the mission was accomplished. I, my work was done. I didn't need to brep him anymore. And now I don't know well, I I use a form of Bomberman, kind of. I don't like that he's Brawler and not uh, not Gunner. The the me with explosives. So I just I ha I have a I have a Cuphead body, Bomberman head, Gunner that I, I call Boomerman. Oh, dark green is Gino. Hello, Gino. Oh boy, Elf, your wi your wish has failed. Your prayer, Esquire has chosen Lilat. We already got too many special gunners. Oh yeah, that's true, but s still. Crispo is going nuts over Lilat. He loves it. Free GC, Thrust Uppercut versus Esquire Helikick. Free will remove two stocks. Esquire will rock his top hat and Helikick in the corner. Alright, here we go. Free will continue to taunt for as long as possible because he is Dan Hibiki. Free putting up a strong early fight. Already has Esquire up to 55. 75. Esquire has yet to land a hit. Okay, there's a suplex. Two suplexes. That's all you need. You need to build damage as Brawler. Why not suplex? <laughs> Synchronized faint jumping. Into Helikick. Not enough to kill, but... I'm gonna 
tell you a secret. I don't actually know where about the percentages for Helicate killing are. I'm a, I'm a fake Heli fan. Suplex get, gets punished almost with a D throw thrupper, which I will not be calling the sus, and you can't make me. Mmm, faint jump stomp. Faint jump kick, still not enough to kill. Esquire almost takes it. Can he finish free without losing a stock? Ooh, the raw F smash! Gets punished. Free gets a stock. Come on, Esquire, you gotta get- he's at 145, you gotta get him now. You don't have any confirms, you're just gonna have to go for it and not die. Ooh, up smash, takes it. Alright. That is what- Big Lord's screaming, don't F smash in neutral. That is one off of each side. Bringing the current score to 18-14 in thrust uppercut's favor. So Esquire remains And we have our next thrust uppercut joining. silence as we again sort things out Esquire and Just Staff, I believe, is our next thrust uppercut. Sorry, Juicy Taff, if I'm to believe his in-game name. Just Staff, 
Frost Uppercut versus Esquire. Helikick. Rocking the Creeper outfit. Esquire will remove one stock. Zelrog, please do a Wario impression, I beg you. There is an entire dating sim stream of me doing a Wario impression. Check out Wario Date. I got highlight. I got highlights and everything. That was that was a good stream we did on the uh, YouTube channel. Rapid Jab gets punished with an F Smash. Esquire taking a lot of hits so far. Ooh, that was almost a good read for the F Smash. Wasn't quite spaced correctly. Esquire throws out a heli. Not enough to kill, but it gets him off stage. Can he capitalize? Mmm. Makes it back with Thrupper. Just Staff. Dodges the heli kick. Punishes with an up smash. Esquire loses the first stock. He's just throwing out the heli kicks. Exactly like I do. And the F smash in neutral again. Ooh, there's some stutter. That ain't good. Just F. Rocking FMP, which I don't believe we've seen yet. Punishes F smash with a tilt. Odd choice, but it worked. Juicy is juicy. Just F is down a stock. What a, what a juicy creeper. Chazo is the only Helikick dude I see having full knowledge of how to use Helikick. Chazo is Redesigner Man in Brawler Cord, correct? Thrust Uppercut does not quite kill. Mmm, stutter. Helikick from below ledge. Can Esquire get at least another one off? Ooh, no, he unshields during FMP. That is two off of Esquire, or two off of Helikick, and one off of Thrupper. Or we're, we're losing ground fast on Team Heli. Jump before you use it. Why, why would you jump before you use Helikick? For, uh, like... Is, is the aerial version bigger? I believe that's... There's something like that with uh, Ganondorf's up special. Aerial version is a much lower angle. Interesting. I didn't actually know there was a different aerial version. Fake Heli fan. I'm learning so much. See, that's the difference. If I'd known that, if I'd known the aerial was way stronger, I would have I would have dominated this crew battle. I would take 20 stocks. And you can't prove it wouldn't happen. Oh no, Chazo is a, a goddamn superhero in the Brawler Cord. Just after we'll now ban stages. And Redesigner Man is our next Helikick user. AKA Ian.
Oh, that's right. I, I, we have Northern Cave in the stage pool. I honestly, I forgot about that stage. I forgot it exists. It's very similar. Why? What is it? What is exactly the difference between Northern Cave and Kalos? I guess the walls are a big thing. Kalos has walls, doesn't it? Northern Cave is smaller. Alright, Redesigner Man on Helikick versus Justath on Thrust Uppercut. Justath removes a stock. And I guess they're good to go. What is that me? I can't tell. It's got a ninja headband, whatever it is. Kinda looks like a toenail. We have another Lilith, by the way. Redesigner Man, rocking Helikick and Burning Dropkick. One of our BDK users. Both of these players have Burning Dropkick. This is a command grab free match. Ooh, the chunks get punished with an F smash, not enough to kill. Goes for an FMP, does not connect. Falls out of heli kick. Just none of the kills are working. No one is dying. Rust uppercut, still not enough. Not not from the ground. Burning drop kick, not enough. What else can we see the, them fail to kill with? Dash attack, that's new. Bait jump kick fails to kill. Oh, it's so me brawler. I love it. There we go. I think that was a back air. I looked away. Just Nair, says Big Lord. Oh, it was F throw. Helikick, they're at 217%. We're now even again. More or less. Just F, getting the combos in. F smash gets shielded. Thrust Uppercut takes another stock off of Redesigner. Come on, we gotta, we gotta see the next Thrupper user. I think it might be Elf King. Ooh, not enough. Up Smash fails to kill. FMP, he does not jump into. That was an attempted read. Burning Dropkick gets interrupted. Heli kick, still not enough at 135%. Goes for a roll read. Justath is not moving the way he wants him to into the FMPs. Now they both have FMP. These movesets are identical save for the up specials. I probably should have noticed that there were not any shot puts until now. Ooh, there's the Nair. Just Staff is finally taken out. I believe that is two off of both sides. Bringing it to 15-10. Thrust Upper's favor.
That's right, D-Tilt does combo into uh, Heli, doesn't it? I knew that and I forgot. It's been so long since I fought a Helikick user. I know BMZ uses it uh, casually for fun sometimes. Uh-oh. We are in the red. Which probably means we're dropping some frames. The stream's going to look a little stuttery and hopefully not drop. Because that'd be bad. Recording is fine, so this will be uninterrupted on YouTube, in any case. Ganon to Ganon. Oh, Redesigner Man is in Ganon Cord? He is. I probably should have recognized him. So, yeah, it is uh, Redesigner Man versus Elf King, who is a prominent member of Ganon Cord. And Redesigner Man, who is apparently a member of Ganon Cord. Y'all just want to forget Brawler? You just want to do a Ganon ditto? I'm a Ganon. They can't stop us. Let's just all go Ganon. I'm joking. Don't do that. Who are we waiting for? We're waiting for Elf King. I would join a Ganon free for all. That's right, Lonk is here and he's a Ganon. We got BMZ as a uh, secret Ganon. I guess it's not that secret. He was a Ganon main up through Smash 4. I think. A lot of crossover between Ganondorf and, uh, and Brawler Cord. There he is. Tingle the Elf King. Tingle for Smash. We got a Bomberman, we got a Tingle, we got a Waddle Dee. We got a lot of user love for uh, Smash picks that uh, aren't getting in on Tuesday in this, in this arena. We have a Nintendo Direct coming on Tuesday, just go ahead and date this video. And I guess I'll talk about that more later. Redesigner Man, using Helikick versus Elf King using Thrupper. I've played friendlies with Elf a lot. I think he's about on par with my brawler. Maybe, actually probably a little bit better, he usually wins. Redesigner Man says my me is Genji. All right. There's some more of that crust again. I see it every now and again, it's happening. Genji from Overwatch, oh, okay. Elf King attempts an F smash. It technically it wasn't in neutral, but is it mean to say that you can tell these are Ganon players? Elf is very good. He is he is a pretty good player. Big Lord doesn't seem to think so, but I I, I played. He's he's better than me. And then... And then the one F smash that pays off doesn't kill, but it sends him out. They're just, it's just all F smashes. 
Why anything else? Just, uh, just smash. It's called Smash Brother. Just use Smash Attacks. Oh, Elf King wins the match. Thrust uppers are now two full players ahead of the Helikick users. But that's okay. Because you, know, you know who we have to save us? We have a goddamn superhero. Chazo about to carry the Helikickers. Elf Bands Town and Northern Cave and Final Destination. Chazo decides to go to Kalos. Unless a miracle happens, Chazo is going to win the crew battle single handedly. Got a, got a reputation, that Chazo. We also have Gajel and a task bot, just, you know, a literal task bot waiting in the wings. Just in case Chazo gets taken out. I think Elf King can at least get a stock. Maybe, maybe he can win. I'm not, I don't want to set up any expectations, but... Gajel's tag is pronounced like Gaggle. No. Oh. Like Peggle? I've asked him like five times and he's never corrected me. Or I've missed it in chat. Alright, Elf King, Thrust Uppercut versus Chazo. Helikick, using the most Bi Shonen Team Rocket member I've ever seen. Bi Shonen? Like a gaggle. Well, is it gaggle or gaggle? Elf getting the first damage. Chazo pulls it back. Fairly even so far. I wonder if that me is supposed to be anyone in particular. Obviously it's not Tingle. It's some manner of king. Up air does not connect. Mm, faint jump kick. Sends him out. That was a very high, uh, very high faint jump. Still pretty even. Around 100 for both parties. Faint jump kick from Chazo. Still doesn't kill. Ooh. How did that not go unpunished? Well, it did go unpunished. He got grabbed. He did go punished. He got grabbed. Shot put takes the first kill off of Elf King. Part of me wants to root for Elf King because I know him. We play friendlies together. He's my boy. But I also kind of want to catch up a little bit on Team Helikick. So come on, Chazo. Up smash. Does not connect. Gets shielded and punished with a grab. Mm. 
Not dead yet. There he goes. This is a very deep-voiced Elf King. Chazo hanging on. Oh, why didn't he? What, what was that? Was that Nair? Elf King takes a stock. It is now even. One stock to two. Even in percent damage, anyway. Ooh. Roll dodge through the suplex. Is that an air dodge? It's so fast, I can't keep up with what's happening. Goes for a D smash read. Into the suplex. Elf. Chazo is definitely going for a lot of reads. There's one. That one paid off. But he has Thrupper, so he's not going to make it back after that. He used his Fate Jump. Oh, there goes Elf King. Well, there we go. There's some catch-up. That is uh, three off the Thruppers. And he managed to pull a stock off of Chazo on the Helikick side. Who's up next? Our next Thrupper appears to be Gold Ebb. I keep wanting to read it as Gold Beb. Elf King is impressed in the Discord chat. Chazo bands? Chazo. Not so. That was a so that was a thing. That was a Here's a here's a little mid 2000s weird internet lore for those of you who might not be aware. There was a uh, there was a Sonic fan character called Natso or Nazo, N A Z O. That originated from some kind of early footage that came out of Sonic X. It was like a glowing blue hypersonic thing. And no one knew what it was because it didn't have any context with the image. So people decided it was this cool, badass new Sonic character called Notso. And it just got a fan label, it got a fan art, it got a all, the whole identity in the community and everything. And it never, it never even, whatever it was, it never even made it into a sh into the show. There's nothing like that in Sonic X. No, it was like a glowing blue energy Sonic. It looked like Sonic crossed with Taboo. There was also an early version of the uh, of the opening sequence to Sonic X, or like a, a, a pilot that took place in like uh, in a Mobius-like world with a bunch of animal critters all over the place, or Sonic-like townspeople, as opposed to the final show took place like Sonic Adventure One and Two in a human-populated. It's interesting to think of the alternate continuity where that was the show. And it was, uh, I guess that would be more like Sad AM Sonic. The one based off the Archie comics with the, uh, the Freedom Fighters. Alright, next match. Chazo on Helikick versus Goldeb on Thrust Uppercut. Can he take another stock off Chazo? Three, two, one, go! Old Eb. Rockin' the, uh... I, well, I don't know who that me is. It looks like, uh... Looks like an ornery old, old woman. And I'm cool with that. 
I, I like to see ornery old women kicking ass. Goldeb on the run. Kazo gets a faint jump kick. Goldeb cannot stay on the stage. Ooh, shot put off stage. Still in it. Goldeb is still alive. 130% versus Chazo's 45%. Goldeb still hanging back, waiting for Chazo to come to him. Mmm, the dare kills! Chazo takes the first stock up to 63%. Goldeb is so afraid. I would be afraid after that last match. I don't want to fight Chazo. Rolls into the rapid jab. Although apparently Chazo frequents the matchmaking channel. So. Maybe I fought him. Maybe I forgot that I faced Chazo and probably lost horribly. Mm, if that were Thrupper. Last kick of. Uh, last hit of Heli sends Goldeb out. They're fighting on opposite sides of the stage. Chazo gets an up smash. For another stock, 112%. Can Goldeb get one? You just, you want to cheer for the underdog. You want him to get at least one. Mmm. Raw Thrupper gets shielded and punished. Up smash doesn't quite kill. He could still do it. They're both just standing in shield next to each other. Please walk into the up smash. Nope, no, neither of the up smashes connect. He's just, he's hoping for it. Both being very defensive, very cautious. Offstage uh, shot put does not connect. F throw also doesn't quite kill. The shot put off stage does kill, and that's a three stock from Chazo. It was a good effort that was very close to getting at least one off him. Big Lord, you ever fight Chazo? Yes, it's tough. Where is he geographically? Like, where, 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 where does Chazo hang out at? What's his region? America. That, that's a big region. There are multiple regions in America. West Coast, like SoCal. I'm a technically Portland region. I live north of Vancouver, but I think the Washington scene is bay is more in the Seattle area, so we just kind of we we mooch off of uh, Portland, Oregon. Vancouver is Portland's hat. You even look at the Vancouver, Washington Wikipedia article and lists it as the largest suburb of Portland, Oregon. And I basically live in a suburb of Vancouver, so... We had our scene... Our scene is very... It's pretty small, the Portland scene. We had it in Vancouver, conveniently, before the pandemic. But it has, uh... It has since restarted way down in, like, South Portland. So if I want to go to Locals again, I'll have to, I'll have to drive, like, an hour... I know there are people who have much longer trips or just can't go to locals for like, Ugh, an hour, you must, you poor soul. 
You know, I, I used to only have to drive half an hour. I, I still didn't go to them then. I like to do stuff on, on weekends. I like to stream. I like to stream with Jack. I'll probably go to locals again to, to some degree. As time passes, once we're, you know, fully out of the pandemic and everything, but I, I can wait. Uh, what was I talking about? There is a Nintendo Direct on Tuesday. It is the 2021 E3 is going on this weekend. And Nintendo will be having their thing on Tuesday, and we haven't really gotten any hints about, uh... I said as if we ever get hints. It's about time for a new Smash character, so I'm expecting at least one to drop. I don't know what else I'm expecting from the N Nintendo conference. I mentioned I am kind of anticipating a Battle Network collection from Capcom's, which I would love, because Mega Man Battle Network is one of my favorite series. It's a wonderful, unique RPG series. And I would like it, I would like it to get more exposure for people to uh, see the games. Jonesy in Smash. I'm not expecting it, but it's not impossible. Everyone seems to expect a Pokemon, too. Like, ever, everyone is so sure that that's coming, despite it not happening in any previous instance. The only time we've ever gotten a Pokemon from the current generation was Greninja, and he was in the base game. We've, we've never gotten current gen DLC as a Smash fighter. It's not impossible. Could happen. I just don't think it's like a shoe win, like people seem to think it is. Fingers crossed for Crash. Like all eight of the previous DLC slots. <sighs> One day. You know what? Crash is going to make it in for Smash 6 just in time for half of the rest of the roster to be cut. Exe for Smash DLC. Proto Man Exe is interesting because he's a he's a sword character, whereas the original Proto Man was just kind of like Mega Man 1.5. He still used a gun. Zero was the sword guy. All right, Chazo on Helikick. He'd remove one of his stocks versus Rust Uppercut user, not a pit main slash Spicy Boy. Using a Nia me? It's, it's the Nia outfit. I'm not entirely sure who the the me is. Spicy, all right. Ring fit trainer. What a missed opportunity for a Wii Fit Echo. Nairs everywhere. Rust uppercut from ground level at a low percent. Well, it's damage. Uh, Spicy loses a stock. Chazo is up to 29%. G Gaggle says you need to F smash in neutral more. No! Spicy gets gimped. It's not looking great. Chazo lands an F smash. They are now even, with Chazo having the stock advantage into a jab lock, but fails to connect the smash attack. <laughs> the one time he had to confirm into a smash attack, it still doesn't connect. 
He should have just thrown it out in neutral. Obviously. Late Nair just getting little piddly hits on Chazo. Oh no! Okay, Spicy lives. Still alive. Using uh, FMP, I see. And an up smash for another three stock from Chazo. Boy, uh. It's looking like they were right. Chazo's just gonna take this. The heli kicks pull ahead. Eight to six, heli favor. Who's next on the- who's the next victim? Oh, I shouldn't say that. They did- the Thrupper can still, uh, they, they, they could still pull it off. They get someone good to, f to fight the fight. They might still have Big Lord waiting in the wings. It is not even possible for anyone else to become MVP. Just give the- the- the mat roll in Brawler Core to Chazo for the- the- the year. Honorary Matt 2021. Why give it to anyone else? The Chazo versus Thrupper crew battle. Next up is E.T. Knight. Don't be ridiculous. Simply avoid taking damage and you will be fine. Alright, Chazo going with the same bands as every previous match he has won. Smashville, Yoshi's, and Battlefield. stage. Looks like they're going to Stadium 2. Hasbot, I hate to tell you, you might not get to play today. I bet things will go better in the in the next uh, destroying axe kick versus heli kick, assuming Chazo does not play in that one. He's the only reason this got back to being at all close. All right, Chazo heli kick versus Et Knight on thrust uppercut. Chazo begins with two stocks, and there they go. Grabbed out of shield. Chazo getting most of the hits so far. Is there really any reason to use Thrupper offensively before, like, kill percentage? I guess it's, it's, it is a combo ender if you get a combo, but... Certainly not raw. Mmm, that was a risky jump into up smash. Chavo did not... I don't think he correctly timed the punish. I think if he did, he could have hit through the dare. Maybe not. Dare, dare is of substantial size. We now have... Uh, we're back to double shot puts. E.T. Knight can cover... What was that? Chazo! What are you... Do was that intentional? Did he throw that stock? No, he, he, he wouldn't. He, he wants to give the Thruppers a chance. He wants to give them hope before he takes it away from them. Like that, see? Mm. 
suplexes through Nair. Suplexes for days. Helikick takes another stock. Jazo at 65%. Even stocks. Can E.T. Knight take him out? It's a tall order still. It's not impossible, though. Not at these percents. F tilts clash. Jazo shielding everything. Knight shields a dash attack into an up smash out of shield. Chazo has been dethroned. Knight, through whatever circumstance, has taken two stocks off of Chazo. Evening up the score at 6-6. Six to six. It is neck and neck. We have Eggle now joining us. Perhaps you've seen his YouTube videos. If you haven't, you should check out his YouTube videos. G-A-E-G-E-L. He does good brawler stuff. Well known in the brawler community. Everyone was, uh... Giving him crap in the chat earlier for underrating certain moves. I think it was mostly joking, though. It's 4-6. Uh... Oh, that's right. E.T. Knight lost some stocks. Thank you for the correction, DMZ. The head on assault is definitely the uh, the best brawler move. I don't think there's any arguing that. I mean, it kills at zero. Three. Note, this is a joke. One. Do not take this statement Go. seriously. Do not use head on assault on your me brawler. You will die. All right. ET Knight for Helikick. I'm sorry, thrust uppercut versus Gaggle for Helikick. Knight down two stocks. Ruppers still have a good edge. Wait. Oh, I have the. Worry about it, I'm fixing it. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do a lot of things right now. All right, for real. The heli kicks at the current advantage. Even match so far, both of them over 100%. Can anyone land a kill move? Oh, the faint jump kick! There goes Knight. Score is now 3-6. to six. Heli kick favor. Who is our final thrupper? My, my suggestion 
was that the Thrupper team all dress as toads, and then they would be the Thrupper Buppers. But no one went for that. You know, screw me, right? This has gone longer than the uh, previous crew battle did. Probably because, A, we did get to have an 8v8, and probably because of the several misstarts. And it looks like we have an EU fight. Our last thrupper is Big Lord. If Gaggle is defeated, then our final Helikick user is named Taspot in Brawler Cord. Which I don't know who he is, I don't recognize him, but he must be good because he's a Taspot. I believe all of our remaining Helikickers are EU. Actually, all of our remaining players are EU. So I'm over here. I'm over here on the West Coast watching all the Europeans fight. On the plus side, it should play well for them, assuming my spectating doesn't interfere. It is Big Lord for our final Thrust Upper user. He has six stocks to go through if he wants to win it for the Thruppers. Gaggle on Helikick versus Big Lord on Thrust Uppercut. Two renowned Brawler users. Should be a good match. Big Lord rocking Captain Big Lord, as he did in the previous crew battle. Which I believe he also was on the Thrupper team for. That outfit, the green version of the default bra brawler outfit, just looks like Deku. I think Dale was wearing that as well. Mm, goes for the D throw thrupper. Doesn't connect. Issa raw F smash. Oh no. Into a suplex suicide. Well, hmm, that's uh that's a way to start. Big Lord's tall order just got even taller. smash D smash does that is that enough that's enough okay 57% to 0% final stock will we get to see our final hella kicker can big lord pull it back that looked like a prime hella kick spot not at kill percent but doesn't go for it Oh, the up smash! There he goes. It was a good fight, but Gaggle, Gaggle takes it. What did he lose? He lost two stocks. Bringing the final score to 4-0. With the Heli Kickers winning the crew battle.
Taskbot says, you guys wouldn't have won without me. So, uh, thus ends the, uh, Chazo versus Thrust Uppercut crew battle. It was a good one. He almost, he took everyone. It was very one-sided, that. And that ends the festivities for today. We'll be back next week with a mystery JMU. The Brawler Cord will be fighting a, another Discord, and not even I know who it is yet. And the week after will be the final crew battle between, Hel uh, sorry, Soaring Axe Kick and Helikick. Uh, maybe a stream with me and Jack later today? Maybe not. Maybe I'll do a solo stream tomorrow on Sunday. We'll see. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.